All is in full gear for this year's virtual staging of the Veterans for Veterans concert. The show boasts A-list acts, Bounty Killer, Agent Sasko and Dosanchin in an aim to pull in over $15 million in donation. Chairman of the National Poppy Appeal and Executive Producer of the event, Lieutenant Colonel Warrington Dixon, gave us the full details about the worthy cause. Poppy has been used to to get donation towards the care of our veterans but the really most significant thing um, for the puppy is for us to remember remember the circumstances that led us um, into 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 this bloodshed but the flagship ac activity for this year is the veterans for veterans concert we have a very impressive lineup we have bounty killer um, headlining the show we have agent sasko call out infantry and we have Jermaine Edwards. Veterans for Veterans concert is in celebration of Poppy Appeal Month, which was launched in October and will be aired live right here on TVJ. The National Poppy Appeal is the main fundraising arm of the Jamaica Legion, which raises funds to take care of over 100 needy military veterans and widows. Fans send Eternals to the top with a US 71 million debut tag. When you love something, You protect it. You can't protect. Eternals topped the U.S. weekend box office chart, but surprisingly, its $71 million debut fell short of projections, which had the superhero film debuting about $75 million. Internationally, Eternals took in $90.7 million, bringing its global total to over $160 million. Eternals also managed to score the fourth best opening weekend for any movie during the pandemic era, sliding in behind Marvel's own Black Widow with $80.3 million and Shang-Chi and the Legend. Legend of the Ten Rings, 75.3 million, as well as Venom, Let There Be Carnage, 90 million. I am Daedra reporting for E-Prime.